Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of the song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for the song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, pads, bass, and organ all layered in the left hand range, which stretches from here to here. And then in the upper left hand range, you'll just find that there is a piano up to this key. And then your right hand will play piano for some of the song and the piano extends up to this key. And then you'll find that you have an organ lead from this key all the way to the top. And you'll find this the same for all the song section control positions. You'll start the song with song section control all the way down for intro, verse, and down bridge. Up halfway for your chorus, refrain, and medium bridge, and all the way up for the interlude and big bridge. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, there's actually nothing in the track, you'll just hear the drums start to come in, but if you'd like, you can go ahead and play the one of your key, which will bring in the synth bass. Now you also have piano available here, so if you do want to play any chords along with that, you can, and there's also the organ up here in this range. So feel free to use those anytime you want if you'd like, or you can just leave the keys out for the intro if you wanna play it like the track. For your down verse, you'll have song section control all the way down, and you'll just be playing in the left hand, and you can just hold on this note. Now later on, as the song progresses, and you move song section control up, you'll hear that there are more basses added, and organ, and piano. But for this first verse, I like to keep it really simple. And you could move to those different bass notes if you wanted. But that synth that you hear coming in is just gonna be the same on all the notes. So you can just keep it simple and just stay on the one of your key. If you want, that keeps it nice and easy. Now for the next verse, I like to add in a little bit of piano notes into what you're playing. Again, you can just hold on the one of your key and let that synth keep playing and then add in a few notes in your right hand. So here's how I like to do this one. Again, feel free to add any notes that you'd like. You've got the piano from here 
all the way up to this note. So you can add in more if you want. I just like to add in a little bit for some color. Then you have two more verses that happen a little bit later. I like to do this the exact same way. You'll have song section control all the way down. You can keep going with just the one of your key down here and adding in that piano if you like. So here's that one more time. For the chorus, you'll bring song section control up halfway. And for the first down chorus, I like to play some simple piano chords alongside. And remember, you also have the organ up here, so if you'd like to do something with the organ, some kind of melody instead, you can do that. I like to just add in a little bit of piano here. So here's how I like to do the chords. So here's hands together. And you'll find that the refrain is just an extension of the chorus, and so I like to continue playing that the same way. So you'll find another chorus and refrain comes back a little bit later after a couple verses. I like to do this next one the exact same way. Then for the final chorus of the song, I like to add a little bit more movement into right hand. So here's how I like to do right hand for this one. You'll still have song section control halfway up. So here it is with left hand. So you can kind of keep it here. or you can kind of shift your hand to play the chord. It does move at quite a clip, so whatever is easiest for you that you can do, that you'd like. The bridge you'll start with song section control all the way down and to start I like to just play with left hand and stay on the one of my key now as the bridge builds I like to bring song section control up halfway to uh, do the medium bridge I'm still gonna be just be playing on the one of my key but you'll hear more sounds coming in and then on the fourth line, there's gonna be a bit of a break um, before you can add in just a little bit of right hand. Now 
Now, the next time through the bridge, for the medium bridge, you'll have song section control up halfway. And now instead, you're gonna bring right hand up and play a little organ lead. So here's how the lead sounds. So that's the first line of it. And it will start actually with the left hand playing the first note of the rhythm. And it does start right away, so. And even though the bass is actually just staying on the one of your key, you're gonna be changing chords with left hand. So you will start with the one, and then you are gonna move into flat five. So. Okay. All right, so here's the whole thing. So when you're practicing this, the easiest thing to do is to go in main stage and change patch attributes to slow it down so that you can slow down the, the synth that's going and then you can slow down right hand and then you can bring everything back up to speed together because it's a little bit tricky. And again, if you'd like to shift around the notes a little bit to make it more simple, you do have this organ lead from this key here all the way up. So feel free to do that. Here is one more time, hands together. Okay, so you will be continuing to play that for this medium bridge, you'll play that four times you'll play the riff um, because essentially this whole line lasts for two bars. So you'll be playing it four times for the medium bridge. Then what you'll do is you'll move song section control all the way up and you will do it again for the big bridge. So you play it again another four times. And then this says come back as another big bridge after the interlude, same thing. You'll play it again four times, just the same as before. And then there's a final bridge of the song that's just voices. So you can just pull off all the notes and just do it acapella if you're doing it uh, like the recording. For the interlude, you'll have song section control all the way up and you will be playing octaves in your left hand and right hand will be playing the organ lead that was the same as the bridge. And so this interlude goes for 16 bars, which means you'll actually play the riff eight times um, because each one is two bars long. And so you can keep playing it through there if you wanna play something else, mix it up, if you wanna keep it simple and just continue with the synth playing, however you'd like to do it is great. And if you wanna see me break it down a bit more, go ahead and check out the bridge section. Song-specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out the song-specific patch. I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. We'll see you next time. <laughs>